Hello, we are, welcome to the, to the course about Geographic Information Systems for Municipality Management. At this second video, this is the second theoretical one, we are going to speak about your uh, reference systems because they are very important to manage a geographic information system. Uh, we have the cartography, the geographical information uh, of a GIS, uh, we have it re georeferenced, so it has a location in relation to a reference system. The Earth is an irregular three-dimensional object and uh, its shape is similar to an ellipsoid of revolution. Uh, the, actual, uh, the actual measurements made on the surface of the Earth are however referred to the uh, geoid. So, uh, when we define a reference system, we do it on an ellipsoid of uh, revolution. The data uh, uh, must be transformed on, on the geoid to be represented on a flat. So, uh, several transformations can be applied for that. Uh, we need to define a reference system to manage the geographical information. So, uh, if we have a, a view in a reference system, we have to know uh, what's the reference system of the uh, of the cartography. Uh, the a component of these reference systems is the uh, coordinate system. In this case, we have uh, two uh, two of them that are geographic coordinate systems. That uh, when where a global or spherical coordinate system. Uh, is based on uh, this uh, system is based on latitude and longitude uh, coordinates and the other one is the projected coordinate system where uh, we have uh, the the maps of the earth uh, into a to the uh, cartesian coordinate plane so uh, each uh, coordinate system is defined by an origin reference axis and units of measurement. Uh, we uh, can see two different concepts for that, the CRS or Coordinate Reference System or, or SRS, the, uh, that is the Spatial Reference System. When we see this, uh, these two concepts in our GIS, we can know that we are speaking about the reference system. The global one, the geographic uh, coordinate system, uh, manages the latitude and longitude uh, coordinates. Uh, the origin is the equator and the Greenwich uh, meri meridian. Uh, units, uh, the units of uh, measure are uh, degrees. And the other one, the Cartesian coordinates uh, system, is uh, local. Uh, we manage uh, the coordinates x and y. Uh, the uh, the measure are made the measurements are made in uh, meters the datum is the part that determines uh, position and ori orientation of the coordinate system regarding uh, to the reference system so uh, we can have a global global uh, datum or a, a local datum, for example, if the location is in a is tangent to the surface in a local area, for example, for Europe, uh, one of the references the, of the datums that uh, have been managed uh, have been have been used in the last years uh, was uh, ED50, uh, European datum, datum uh, uh, 50. Then. Uh, a reference system is defined by the coordinate system and the datum. And there are the different reference systems for each area in the world. We can have ED50, uh, uh, as we saw, or ETRS89, that is a current uh, project uh, reference system, for example, in, in Spain, in Europe, but in this moment in Spain. And here we have uh, how the global coordinate system uh, works. Uh, we have latitude, uh, latitude and longitude uh, from the equator and uh, the meridians uh, from the equator and the parallels uh, in the north or in the south and the longitude, the east 
or the west from the uh, Greenwich uh, Meridian. Here we can see in a local area these countries. We can see the this area is uh, longitude uh, east from 34 to 42 and the latitude uh, north from 29 to 37. This is the area, that, uh, that area. The projection uh, is, be, uh, is a bionic relationship between the points of the terrestrial surface and the points of this projection flat uh, the, at the projector, uh, projection flat. So uh, we can have different uh, pro uh, different systems, uh, different projections depending on the uh, figure uh, where it's uh, projected. For example, we have a flat one, a flat projection, a conical, cylindrical, and this one, the cylindrical, is uh, used for uh, one of the most uh, reference uh, system uh, used in, uh, in the world. It's Universal Transfer of Mercator, UTM, and it's, uh, it uh, has 60 zones uh, divided in uh, 6 degrees every one, uh, from the east to the west, from the west to the, to the east, sorry. Uh, so each area is uh, 6 degrees of uh, longitude. Here we can see the, the world, the whole world, and in the, for example, in the case of Spain, we can see this uh, area, this zone, uh, almost all Spain is in 30, in the zone uh, 30. So, and there are several regions that are in the 29 or uh, 31. For example, when, when we work uh, in, with the whole Spain, we usually work uh, in uh, zone 30, but people from Galicia or fr uh, when they uh, work with their local cartography, they work in uh, zone 29. Here we can see the, uh, the UTM uh, coordinates, uh, the center, the center of the, of the meridian, of the uh, central meridian, the coordinates is uh, 500,000. So uh, we have uh, less than 500,000 to the west, and uh, to the east we have uh, more than uh, 500,000. So there is an, there are, aren't uh, negative coordinates. The same for the uh, for the uh, latitude. The equator is four million, so we have for more than four million to the north, and less than uh, than four million to the uh, south. But no negative, uh, no negative coordinates. It's the same for the sixty uh, zones that uh, the the Earth are, uh, is divided on. We also can transform from different reference systems. Uh, if we reproject from one reference system to another one, sometimes we have to apply transformations because if we don't apply them, we can get uh, an error. Uh, so we can see the uh, both layers uh, overlap uh, correctly. Uh, one of the ways to manage the reference systems is uh, through the European Petroleum uh, Survey Group uh, or EPSG. The, this uh, organization uh, has a, a set of codes for the different reference systems depending on different uh, parameters. For example, we, here we can see the different codes depending on the datum and uh, if it's uh, UTM, uh, north or south, if it's geographical coordinates, etc. So we have the EPSG codes that can be managed in GBC. Here at this uh, at this link, you can find all the uh, the codes, the EPSG codes that are uh, available to be managed from GBC. In GBC, we have 
the reference system of the view that we can see here and we can change this reference system from this option we can look for the different uh, codes depending on our uh, area or our cartography in this case for finishing in this case we can see a, 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 refer a reference system a view in a concrete uh, reference system and two different type of cartographies we can see that they are they aren't uh, overlapped uh, correctly so one of them uh, it seems that one of them is correctly in the reference uh, reference system of the view and the other one uh, has been hasn't been uh, reprojected uh, or hasn't been reprojected correctly so we have to take uh, this reference system into account the reference system of the view and the reference system of the different layers that we are loading in GBC. And with this uh, last slide, we are finishing this uh, second video. And the next one, at the next one, we will start with the practical exercises. See you at the next video.